Welcome back to another video on the Final Days channel. Today is March 27, 2019. Today we will be viewing a manufactured structure in space that kind of looks like a fried egg. Also we'll be seeing strange behavior of our moon and other sky anomalies not mentioned by mainstream media. I will also be giving an update on exactly where Earth is in relation to the magnetic anomaly that we are heading toward. The purpose of this channel is to show the viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible and to explain how to prepare for what's coming. The images shown here all came from the Alaskan Federal Aviation Weather Cameras. Each image in these videos is 10 minutes apart. Many of the cameras that show the moon, such as this footage from the west-facing camera in McGrath, Alaska, show that it doesn't maintain the same size consistently as it crosses the sky. It is 6.12 in the morning local time, and the moon goes from small to large within 10 minutes. There are three frames in this footage, so we're only looking at 30 minutes worth of pictures. And look at the size change. The same thing is occurring on the west-facing camera in North Slope, Alaska. This same phenomena can be seen on many many different cameras. For time's sake, we'll just look at one more. Then we will see exactly what's causing this. This footage of the moon was captured on the new Steyahawk camera, looking west as the moon makes its descent toward the horizon. As you can see, in only 10 minutes it increases two or three times in size. Of course, it would be ludicrous to even imagine that our real moon could do this. We cannot possibly be looking at the real moon. The next video hints at what we were what we're actually looking at. The northwest facing camera in Trading Bay, Alaska shows us what is going on with the moon. This footage starts out at 6.39 in the morning, local time. As the moon is descending, we start to see the reflection of the bell-shaped projector, which is also used during the daytime to project a round light in the direction of the sun to hide solar eclipses that occur, occur multiple times daily. We've seen this hundreds of times in these videos. The reflection of the bell-shaped projector is marked with arrows in a few of these frames. Notice in this footage that once the projector is gone, the moon becomes nothing more than a tiny dot, about a tenth of a size it, that it was just three hours ago. There are many of these projectors so that wherever the moon is being viewed from, the projection appears straight on. In less populated areas of the world, fewer projectors are needed. This causes the image of the moon to become skewed when looking at the projection from an angle, such as this camera does, which is located in Portage Glacier, Alaska. We are looking at the moon projection from an angle, causing it to appear very contorted. Look at these images carefully, and we will see exactly what's happening. Here is a square piece of paper I cut with a pair of scissors. Notice that it appears square. However, if we look at the square piece of paper from an angle, it is no longer square, but instead it's shaped like a stretched diamond. Just like this projected image of the moon, the camera isn't looking straight on at the projected image. Instead, it is looking from an angle so that the moon is shaped like the construction paper we just saw when held at an angle. Some of you may have seen this footage a few months ago from the Skagway, Alaska camera when a structure was being built out in space and it kind of looks like a fried egg in these images. This structure 
is now finished and fully camouflaged so that it doesn't show up on this camera except with contrast applied and even then barely visible. In a couple minutes we will see where Earth is in relation to a very powerful magnetic celestial object that Earth is heading toward. But first, people should know that untold trillions have been spent to hide what's coming. The reason for the deception is because the enemies of Christ do not want you to know how close to the end we are, nor do they want you to turn your life over to Jesus while you still have time. Information is at the end of this video instructing you on how to accept Christ into your life. God's judgments, or wrath, are now falling upon the earth because of the intolerable level of wickedness of earth's population. According to the Bible, a plague is a judgment. A virus is considered a plague if it is a judgment, which is what we're seeing right now. Locust swarms can be a judgment or a plague, as well as floods, droughts, poison water, and other events. The Bible states repeatedly that God's faithful believers are not appointed to his wrath, his judgments. Just like in Exodus chapter 7, when the Israelites were held captive in Egypt, in order to force Egypt to let go of the Israeli captives, God sent several different plagues upon the Egyptians. But none of the plagues touched the Israelites, only the Egyptians. This is how plagues work. This is how judgments work. This same protection against judgment plagues is guaranteed to God's faithful believers in Psalm 91 in the Bible. Here's a modern day example of the true believer's protection from God's judgment. Some of you may have seen the news on this a couple weeks ago, but a Christian family in Wuhan, China did not get the virus, even though thousands around them died. Psalms 91 verse 7 and 8 read as follows, A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Here is an update on where we are as we head toward the powerful magnetic anomaly on our path around the sun. This is also a judgment upon the wicked. God's faithful believers who are living in holiness are protected from this destruction by God's promises in Psalm 91 and other places throughout the Bible. However, if God tells you to move to a safe place, then you must listen. You must be listening to God. In this video, we will be watching uh, the blue object in the bottom right corner. That's the magnetic anomaly. And it's so powerful that it bends light, time, and space. The blue line with arrows is the path that it follows. As you can see, it comes into our solar system, it swings around the sun, and then it heads back out, and it won't return for thousands of years. Notice Earth's position as we start out. Here's where we were yesterday, March 26th. The magnetic celestial object is currently moving very slowly in relation to other objects in our solar system. I obtained the location of the magnetic celestial anomaly from watching Terrell Blackstar, a scientist who has been watching this object for years. And for years, Terrell has been stating that the very year that Earth makes its closest pass to this object is the same year that a contagion will be released upon the population and the economy will be crashed. He's been saying this for years. The economy is failing and this is yet another judgment that will not destroy God's faithful believers.
As you can see in the diagram, Earth will be making a close pass by the magnetic celestial object in mid-May, which will be yet another judgment that will not affect God's faithful believers. Earthquakes will increase dramatically, as well as volcanic activity and the heating up of Earth's molten core. As we approach this magnetic object, solar radiation will greatly increase, according to Mike from around the world. And Mike also said that Earth will see three and four hundred degree surface temperatures in isolated places that are aimed directly at the sun during solar energy blasts. Mike says that Earth's rotation will be interrupted and that day and night will become mixed up. A day won't be 24 hours. This has already happened to other planets in our solar system as they have passed by this magnetic celestial anomaly. All these things are judgments that will not fall upon God's faithful believers. And then sometime in uh, between June and August, according to Israeli News Live on March 16th, Earth will be passing through a large asteroid debris field visible on the video you are currently watching. Mike from around the world confirmed this information, saying that it will begin as a small trickle. People will just start to see an increase in the number of shooting stars and then they will begin to fall to Earth, but only in small numbers at first. But eventually, most places on Earth will have significant damage from these falling asteroids, and Mike says that they will cause poisonous arsenic gas. The asteroids are yet another judgment that will not harm God's people. The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to God's wrath, his judgments. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all of God's wrath. To be counted worthy we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.